Good evening and thank you all for joining us today. My name is Rashmita and I'm the event planner for Microsoft Reactor Bengaluru. The session will run over the next 90 minutes, including Q&A. I would now like to welcome Vivek, our speaker for today's session. He works at Microsoft as a senior cloud advocate. But before we start the session, I would request you all to read our code of conduct. We are all here to learn, so please be respectful of other people's views, understanding of differences, being kind and considerate in the way you engage. The chat will be open throughout, and we do encourage you all to participate. But for now, I will hand over to Vivek to begin the session. Over to you, Vivek. Thanks, Rashmita. Just give me a minute. Well, I uh, add people. Okay. Well, my screen is visible, right? Yes. Perfect. Cool. So, yeah, uh, folks, uh, welcome to Azure Happy Hour. And, uh, and this specific session uh, is part of the Azure AI series, which uh, we kick started uh, two days back. And uh, it was supposed to be a week back, but yeah, we, we delayed it and uh, and we kick-started it uh, two days back. And uh, the first session, uh, which was part of the week one, uh, we have completed it. It's basically on uh, Azure AI concepts, and uh, we did uh, discuss in depth in terms of uh, machine learning and what are the techniques in machine learning and where you can find help for that and uh, how to go about it uh, in building your own custom uh, a custom model uh, with uh, Azure Machine Learning Service uh, and Azure Machine Learning uh, uh, Studio as well. Uh, today's session, uh, which is part of the week two, uh, where we are going to discuss about computer vision. And uh, we will see how uh, this helps in terms of uh, object uh, detection, image uh, uh, detection, and how do we detect objects uh, through images and other things. And uh, and next sessions, which is coming up, which is next week, uh, we have speech, speech to text, text to speech, uh, language synthesizer and other things. And, and also we will see uh, how to build applications uh, with search, cognitive search. So uh, it's a packed full, packed, uh, sessions uh, and today's session we have a lot of demos a lot of things to do a lot of things to understand so uh, so let's let's hope we'll finish it in uh, you know 60 to 90 minutes which whatever time frame we have and uh, by the way these sessions are uh, built in such a way that uh, once you uh, once you attend these sessions and also complete the learn modules which we have shared which we will share as part of uh, cloud skill challenge um, you will have a couple of, uh, at least you will have the animation, um, ammunition uh, to go and, uh, you know, uh, take up the Azure AI fundamental certification, right? So that is, uh, that's something which we are hoping uh, you will go and take it once you have completed all the uh, learn modules, which will be shared in this session. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, to next slide. Uh, it's an introductory slide for myself. So, did started uh, my career with uh, you know with IBM as a software developer, and did bit of DevOps and founder and part of the developer advocacy team at DigitalOcean, and uh, currently as as well part of the developer advocacy team at Microsoft. So uh, that's me, and you can connect. Uh, with me, these are digital coordinates. Uh, you can connect with me in any of these uh, digital coordinates and uh, ask questions to me about the session and what you want and other things. And uh, I will definitely uh, reply back uh, whenever uh, whenever I'm free. So that's, that's something uh, you know, just to keep it in the note. So I, I, I sometimes don't reply to everyone uh, because of uh, so many messages coming in, but I do take uh, priorities uh, based on the questions as well. So that's something uh, to keep in uh, in mind. Um, 
action for developers this is uh, what i was talking about this is the uh, cloud skill challenge uh, which uh, i had launched and um, this is where all the learn modules are so basically all week one week two week three which i uh, talked about everything is packed into one cloud skill challenge so uh, so what it means is uh, just to show you what what exactly it means is basically this uh, when you go to that link um, which is that link the, or the QR code. Uh, this is aka.ms, Azure Happy Hour, and take this QR code. Uh, you will go to the Azure AI Cloud Skill Challenge, and you can see there are 19 learn modules which are served there. And if you go here, you can see all of them have been grouped into one uh, collection. Okay, so basically, we will. I'm I'm running through all of these uh, live as well, but uh, for your understanding, uh, go and uh, take two, uh, specifically take two modules every every uh, month, uh, sorry, every week, uh, so that you can complete uh, this whole challenge. So that's about Cloud Skill Challenge. So let's come to today's discussion, which is uh, what we're discussing is basically, the analyze you know, uh, basically computer vision. Uh, sorry, folks, uh, there's some issue with my desktop. It's just just one second. It's visible, right? Okay, perfect. So uh, today we are going to discuss about computer vision. So let's get started with uh, this first one, which is to analyze image uh, with computer vision. What is computer vision? So I've been talking about it. So uh, in previous session, we did discuss uh, about the core, um, you know, about the uh, fund foundation of building artificial intelligence, which is the machine learning. And uh, computer vision is one of the uh, one of the area where you you have uh, in a core area to build the artificial intelligence, and uh, it is nothing but giving an eye to the machine. So it's basically the ability uh, of the uh, machines to process the images and uh, and see the way human uh, see the images and understand. Uh, the images the way human understand it. So that is what uh, computer vision provides you. And this is a service. Uh, this is um, in a particular service uh, which is available in Azure. And it is a pre-trained uh, models are available for you to consume uh, these set of services. So what is the usage, a uh, couple of usages, uh, content uh, organization. So when, what, I, what does that mean? That means uh, there are a set of uh, images which you have there are a bunch of things which you have in terms of, um, you know, you want to classify them or you want to, uh, you know, identify them as a different set of objects. For example, you want to identify a pen, you don't want to identify a watch, you want to identify a bus and car and cycle and uh, you know, uh, bikes which are available in the in the traffic zone, right? So basically, that is what you want to understand. So it identifies and it classifies and uh, it provides a lot of information about uh, the image. And there is uh, another use case as uh, text extraction. So what it means is uh, you might have a receipt uh, where uh, you you might be using receipts. Uh, you you have. Uh, PDF formats where there are a lot of text and you want to extract this text and create a uh, kind of a data you know data and put them in the database and uh, and do search or probably do a lot of analytics on that as well so that is something which is available and then the the other use case is to building maps and other things right so there is a, basically you can build um, you know, the movement, the transportation movement you're in different spaces, how the car is moving, where the car is moving and other things. So uh, those kind of information is available with you. So all of these things can be built with uh, computer vision. And uh, just to, uh, you know, and, and, uh, just to give an example of how uh, um, a machine understands 
uh, the image right so the image is uh, is broken down into uh, pixels and it's an array of pixels so this is how your tv also work right you have a tv and it has small pixels if you go very close to a tv you can see uh, it will have pixels so uh, each pixel gets enabled uh, whenever there is a rendering happening so that is the same way uh, the machine also understands so the the uh, the whole image is divided into pixels and the the set of uh, pixels the value which is there in the in this pixel is is nothing but a features uh, which you are going to use to train uh, the machine learning models right so that is that is what it is so in in previous session uh, we did discuss about a uh, set of features which is called as x and there is a function and there is a set of features uh, which is called as x and then uh, and you want to predict the y value and which is using this set of uh, features you're going to predict uh, the y so that is a simple machine learning uh, function right so mathematical function so basically the you take this set of uh, you know these set of pixels uh, with the value and then you just go and uh, train the model based on these values and then uh, it gets trained and you deploy the uh, deploy the model and then you can consume that model so that's that's the simplest way of explaining how this particular thing uh, gets enabled and how this uh, gets trained so um, given that you know we you know it it's very uh, very difficult to build this uh, because you need to have large amount of data and a uh, lot of uh, training has to go through uh, to understand and to get this uh, up and running. So if you imagine this same picture, right? So if you see, if I have to identify this as bus, this as car, and these are cycles, I need a lot of uh, data and and also no, you know a lot of training hours, right? So that is something which is uh, available, right? So that's not available right away. So Microsoft Computer Vision Service provides you with the pre-trained uh, capabilities, right? So pre-trained models are available for you. And it is just that you just use those services through an API within your application and just get started with it. And we will see how to do that uh, as well. So just to get started with it, you know, uh, you know, there are two services. You can either go and enable cloud native service, uh, which is uh, basically a and a service you know, with with an umbrella where all of these cloud native services which is speech service and the uh and the uh, custom uh, search service everything can be enabled there uh and then com you know computer vision uh, service is a separate set of service which you can use as a separate one so you can either ways it will generate you the key and endpoints that is something which we can we will see but the goal is um, how does an anal analyzing image work, right? So a couple of things it can do, right? It is basically describing an image. So what happens is when you provide an image, it basically I, I understands these pixels, and and then start describing the image. So it under you know, with with the data with the set of data which has already been pre built by Microsoft, you just send this. Uh, uh, the, this specific uh, image with the uh, with the API, and you will be able to see that uh, the background is it black and white photo of a city, and there's a building and other things. You know, information is uh, is 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 part of the re request and return, right? So there is tagging features as well. So basically, it will tag it as um, uh, is it a it's a building, it's a tower, or what it is and it will show you the information about the tags and it is basically used for uh, it's nothing but a, a you know metadata and an attribute for that image so what you're doing is is basically you're creating an index of images and you can use it in search and other things uh, to uh, search this specific image say basically show me all the towers in in the city uh, you know all the images with the city you know towers in the city so it's it, it it throws up all the images uh, which has towers right so that is that's why tagging is used and then detecting objects so basically uh, creating a bounded uh, sorry bounding box so basically identifying not just identifying object it also identified where in the image this object is with the tag so basically that is the that is even going further and identifying things right so that is that's one of the use case and then there is uh, 
uh, you know detecting brands so basically you're detecting uh, uh, microsoft uh, logo or anything so uh, computer vision uh, service actually provides thousands of uh, globally recognized logos which is already part of the uh, trained uh, model so you just need to we just need to uh, access that API and then uh, just use that API and you will be able to uh, get the information of this, right? So that is one of the thing. And detecting face. So computer vision also provides uh, how to, you know, uh, how to use that for facial recognition and not just facial recognition, but also analysis and also provide information on, uh, on the, uh, you know, the, sentiment as well right so that those information is also available so it's pretty interesting we will see all the demos uh, for all of these uh, as well and uh, it recognizes the face and it provides who the who the person is and everything can be trained and be used uh, so that is that is uh, the computer visions uh, you know a service which is already available so you just need to keep uh, sending the information the images to it and then train it and use it uh, with the uh, with the API. So you don't have the control over the model there. Uh, that's one of the things which you need to keep in mind. So there is a bunch of things. You know, you can uh, group, uh, categorize the images as part of people or part of the group. Uh, and there is a bunch of uh, categories. So if I click this uh, and see, there is a bunch of categories you can group things. I know that is something which is available out there. And, um, and then there is uh you know celebrity and landmark and when i say landmark it means like whether it is a taj mahal or you know you're uh you know taking a picture of um eiffel tower it basically identifies uh these landmarks and celebrities photos and other things so basically all these things are already pre-trained so you, you can uh, easily use these kind of uh this kind of service uh, to build your application to uh, uh to easily get started with it and not spend too much time in uh, building you know training and uh, deploying these uh, models or uh, building a new model as well so so basically uh, one more important uh, uh, one more uh, use case is uh, optical character recognition it's basically to uh, you know capture information from your uh, PDFs or uh, invoices and other things. So it's basically used in, or even the images that you could have image and it could capture that text from that image. So all of these things can be built in with computer vision. So this is the, these are the things you can build with it. And there are a lot more things you can do from color and various things. Uh, but we will go and see the example, right? We will see the example, how to do this and how to get this started. So it's very simple. Either ways, you can go and create a cognitive service or you can use computer vision. So what the way I have been using it is uh, is using with computer vision. So just go here and type in to computer vision and you can just go ahead and create. So let me select a name, say, yes, hopefully that name exists. And you can say standard on network tags and other things, review and create. So one of the thing which I didn't do is checkbox that I certify and acknowledge um, to use it with the responsibility of AI and other things, right? So that is something which you need to do and then just go and create. So when you create this, you create a simple computer uh, vision resource. And I'm just not creating it because I have already created it. This one. Mm, yeah this one so all i need to use here is the keys and the endpoint so just go to the keys and the endpoint and you you just copy this uh, endpoint and the key and start using it in your code so that's all we have to do so it's simple i have i just go to the portal azure portal i just create the computer vision 
And all I want to do is to analyze the images in this particular example. Uh, what is that image is for? And just go and uh, we will just go and uh, into the portal and go to the cloud shell. And this is the cloud shell I have. So AI. Okay. This is the code. So nothing I'm doing. I'm just going here and creating the cloud shell. So if you see this button, if you click on this button, you'll go into the cloud shell. And once you go into the cloud shell, um, you just need to go to the PowerShell. We just, uh, by selecting here, go uh, either bash or PowerShell. I'm selected PowerShell and I'm here. And uh, this, this cloud shell has uh, most of the things enabled for you. And all we all we are doing is copying this uh, specific code. And once we take this code um, and go to the uh, development, which is the VS code, uh, if I go and say, OK, I want to see the VS code, code, oops. and VS code is enabled now. You can see the code. I'll go expand this one a little bit. Okay, this is the code, and this is what we're doing. Analyze PS, right? So what we're doing here is uh, ultimately we are taking the code and adding the key and endpoint. So if you if we see this, uh, the key is this one, and this is the key, and this is the endpoint. So I'm taking the same thing here, and I'm putting the key and endpoint here, and I made a couple of changes to the code. Uh, I'm using my own image for this, uh, the image which I showed uh, in my introduction, the same image, uh, which is um, uh, this one. So I'm using the same image, and let's see what, what, it, what it analyzes, right? So let's go back and just execute this particular code so what don't worry about the code the code is very simple it is taking the image and it's it's setting the uh, setting the uh, key and it is basically an, uh, invoking the api endpoint for analyze the image uh, and what all things it's looking for basically categories description and what is the object and then uh, that's it it is returning and uh, that's all you are just printing that out uh, and uh, you know, you're printing the tags, you're printing the objects, and whatever it is returning, you're printing that. So that's all. It's very uh, straightforward. You're using just an endpoint, uh, API endpoint, and uh, using that as part of the execution here. So let's go and see. I hope this is. Um, So, so basically, this is what it is telling me. It's basically a person holding a wire. Yes, I will, I'm, I'm just trying to hold the wire. Um, you know, there is uh, sunglasses. Yeah, it's not a sunglass, but yeah, it's a glass. And then it tagging me as as a person who is having uh, some kind of electronics, playing with electronics, and it's a computer. So basically, uh, it identified a couple of things. And uh, and obviously, you need to keep training with different set of uh, images uh, to do this. But uh, this is already having a good, um, good amount of information from a computer vision, which we don't have a control over the model. So it, it has a good amount of information already. So you can just use this information for uh, seeing what exactly this particular uh, this particular image is doing, right? So basically, this person is holding the wire is the most prominent one uh, because you can see, you know, my image was to hold the, the you know, I was holding that in, in a wire. So that is, that what, that's what exactly I was doing there, right? So uh, that's something uh, it is uh, trying to say. So we can use a couple of more examples if you want to see. Uh, I can just close this up and... Uh, uh, we will enable some of the examples which is out there. So let's see this this example. So I had 
so this one let's go and see the examples there uh, this is the example pictures we're going to see so this is already there uh, for you to go and test it so we will run this and see what it describes okay Okay, so it's basically showing a woman showing a phone to a child and yes, and there is cell phone objects in this uh, image. There is cell phone, there is person and there is a room and it is basically also tagging. It's a shop, it's a store. It's a, so all the information is directly available to you. So you didn't do anything. So you just, you know, uh, share the image. And it is, uh, it is it's 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 sharing back within a JSON format. Uh, it's it's sharing the information back to you, and you are just taking this information and uh, and ready with your app. And once you have this information, you just go and use it in your app. So that's the uh, power of using pre pre trained uh, pre trained models here. And uh, that's the uh, that's one of the ways you can do the analysis. So this is one of the way, and I, there are a couple of more examples which we can try. Uh, you know, if you want to try this as well, you can you can go and try it as well. Uh, all of these things are it's it's just taking uh, the just the images. That's it. So let's see this one as well for uh, understanding purpose. So again, it is tagging it. It's a marketplace, marketplace shop, and other things, and the person holding a shopping cart in the grocery store. It's a it's a clear description of this image, right? What it what exactly is happening there? So that's the uh, that's the part of the analysis. Uh, and right now we will go back and see uh, the next module, which is uh, which is very in depth with classification specifically from a classification perspective so we'll understand what is classification is so it's basically uh, it it uses a couple of uh, features and um, classifies this as a spe specific uh, specific class and which is uh, to identify its class and uh, and it's a labeled it's basically labels it right? you know it basically labels it so if you take this example, uh, you know, based on the flowers, uh, petal, uh, you know, uh, petals and stems and other things, it it takes this and classifies this as a specific species uh, of a flower, which is synthos, right? So basically, based on the petal size and uh, how this um, you know stem is and other things, based on that information, and you keep training training uh, this. It has already been trained, by the way. Uh, you keep you know. Uh, you keep training uh, the specific thing and then you get an output. So this is for the image uh, classification. So since it is image uh, classification, which we are doing, uh, that's when we use uh, custom vision. And when it comes to the rest of the other things which we were doing, which is respect to analyzing the uh, images, uh, face, uh, facial uh, um, recognition and other things, uh, and also extracting text and other things, that's where you use computer vision. And for custom vision, you're going to use uh, specifically for image classification and object detection. So basically here, um, an example, uh, you have three fruits, and and three fruits have pixels. And these pixels have values, and it, you know, taking this specific pixel, uh, it classifies this as a, uh, you know, class banana, right? And same thing with apple, same thing with orange. So it is based on the pixels again. So ultimately, uh, array of pixels uh, is being trained over and over uh, to identify it as a, uh, is as a specific. Uh, species so which is which is a banana class right so it is taking this as this information so there is apple there's orange based on the uh, pixels which is there and it's an array of pixel and it it gets trained and then uh, boom it's uh, it's basically it, it knows it is an apple uh, once it has reached certain uh, set of uh, you know data uh, has been trained right so that is uh, that's what uh, this you know custom vision does, and we will see an example. And by the way, this is a deep learning technique, which is a deep learning is nothing but you know what humans do uh, 
easily that's what you want to do from a machine perspective uh, that's what uh, a simple a simple explanation for that and this is uh, nothing but a c and an uh, way to do it so there is uh, much much more classification you can do so a custom vision service provides you a easier way to train uh, such images and uh, you know build classification uh, on those images and uh, publish that as a you know prediction uh, as well and then you can consume that uh, prediction as well we will see uh, as part of this demo we will see how how exactly you can do that as well so let's get uh, started with the image classification so let's see how that is being done so let's this you know as I told you, simple. Uh, you can also create it with custom, uh, no, sorry, uh, cognitive services. So when you say cognitive services, it means that you have, um, you know, you can go back and uh, create an umbrella of a service. You don't want to have more of uh, manage more, uh, uh, more of these services in Azure. So you just want to create, or you want to see how the specific uh, consumption of custom vision is happening. So you just want to create it with custom visions. So you can separate it also. So we will see that. And it also creates training and prediction service under this. Whenever you create this, it creates both. Um, so that is something which you need to keep in mind. So uh, it's very simple. You have uh, you know, you have the images, you upload the images, and once you upload the images, uh, images available, and there are two ways you can uh, train. One is custom vision portal. Uh, there is a custom vision portal, which is, you know, custom vision.ai, and this is how you can uh, upload and start training. I'll show you how to do it. Or you can use SDK. We will also see uh, a Python uh, SDK as well on how to build this uh, and train. Uh, both the ways we will understand. These are two different ways you can do it. And uh, and while you are doing evaluation, uh, there are some certain metrics it drives. So uh, precision is one of the metrics. And it is very simple to understand. It is like 10 images which is you have uploaded from orange. And eight of them got uh, you know actually uh, oranges as the output. Uh, which is 80% precision uh, is what your metrics is. So basically what it does is you you upload some 20 to 30 images, uh, for example, uh, for a specific uh, object. And um, and it takes 20 objects to train and it keeps 10, uh, probably 10 to test it out. And while it is testing, it creates that precision uh, as well. So it, that is how uh the custom vision work and then there is recall and that recall is basically um how many um you know i know out of 10 images uh you know the model found seven of them correct so that is 70 percent recall so that is what it means so that is uh, one of the way to do it and then average uh, you take the average of these two and there is average so these are all metrics uh, but it is again um, it's just a metrics right so basically you have you know uh, what how how good your uh, your uh, model is and if it is really good uh, then that's this specific iteration you can go and publish it in the prediction so basically until you um, understand uh, that this model is not really uh, model is good or not uh, you can keep doing the iterations you can have n number of iterations. You can name different iterations. And within the project, you can have different iterations. And then you, ke you can keep uh, uh, doing those iterations and then uh, go and publish this in the prediction and then use it. So this is very simple from a prediction publishing perspective. You just go and click on a button and it gets published. And then you have the endpoint prediction endpoint, which you're going to consume. Uh, after training, uh, after the model is ready to be consumed. So there is a key and other things which gets uh, enabled and you can just go back and use it. So uh, a simple way, uh, let's go and uh, do this uh, from a, a demo perspective. So we have created a custom vision uh, service. So we just need to go here and say custom vision. So similarly, what you need to do is create one so when you create new one nothing but the same more uh, old information you're going to give uh, resource group name and uh, the pricing tier and prediction 
uh, what is the pricing tier for that there are two services i told you one is uh, one is the uh, custom vision and the other is the prediction so prediction is where uh, the uh, deployed models will be and that is what you consume in your application not the custom vision uh, keys or endpoints so this is simple click on next 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 and it's it's boom it's ready uh, to use so let me go back uh, to the one which i have already created so which is this one so just go here all we need is keys and endpoints so that's what we are going to pick and we just take that and there is properties uh, there is also a couple of information available we are going to pick that uh, and i'll show you where we are going to use that and uh, these are these are things which is available here so you just pick that in your code and we are ready to go the same things which we have selected while creating this particular service and um, so all we need to do is to download this uh, particular images there are it's an example which is already having uh, from an apple banana and oranges you just download it go to this uh, ai and uh, you create a new project so basically you go here and uh, create a new project and enter the project details uh, the you know, what is the project name uh, go to the checkout uh, two and uh, description testing and you select what is a you know resource you want is it's a classification type right so it's not an object detection so only thing well, only thing which we are doing here uh, as part of the uh, um, as part of the uh, example is we are just classifying this but these images uh, are, which are either they are apple or um, or oranges or bananas we are not doing anything else uh, okay so that is that is a that is a why there is a classification is uh, when it comes to object detection it means uh, within that image where is banana and where where is uh, orange where is apple that is uh, what we are going to detect right so that is these are the two different differentiation which you need to keep in mind and this is anyways uh, these are classification types uh, multi class and uh, labeled ones and you just uh, saying that it's food right so that is what we have to enable with so we are saying okay type food and this it's a multi class and you know project type is classification right so basically classification and multi class and food and you create a project and it gets created okay so now you just need to add um, add fruit images um, and then just select uh, each one and upload uh, all of these uh, images and tag it as an apple and and then for the same thing you have to do it for rest of the other things as well and then we will test it out so i've already done that uh, basically i've already uploaded all of these things and tagged it so i'll just show you once uh, for one of the thing uh, since it takes time i've already done a couple of things let's go here and select this one and select a and tag it as apple and upload all the images so what i'm doing now is basically uploading all the images here and i'm done with the image and it's done right so that's what uh, we're doing so it's basically tagging each one of these images so i've already done that for each image so i just don't want to waste time there so all we need to do is after doing that we need to take an image to test it out so obviously we need to do a training as well so where do you do the training so there is something called as train here so if i do if i add you know let us add images as well just to show you how uh this works demo train images bananas so we say 
and just upload it and once you upload it just train it quick training so it will take some time to train so that is what the training means here so when you train and then go to quick test here which is here and you just need to do a test uh, that is what it means but i'll just go to grocery checkout project which i already have so let me go here so i already have this project and uh, i already have apples and bananas and uh, you know oranges here and if you if i click on performance you can see you know the precision so basically it is uh, saying okay it's 100 percent and recall is 100 percent uh, because this is a simple example that is the reason why i have these numbers but if you train with a lot of data and various other things um, and that is where uh, you know these things will come into picture but this is just an example so uh, that is the reason why it is showing me it is all good and uh, and then from a prediction tab if i go to prediction tab uh, it sees these things and it is telling me that it did predict and it has a couple of things uh, the 98 percent it means apple and other things when i say uh, predicted it's basically here there is a quick test right so if i click on this quick test i can provide it with the local file or uh, image so here is the test image which is there so this is a you know advantage of uh, using the learn module uh, it has all the information for learning purpose you just have to take this and take the code and understand how exactly all of these things is set and reuse a couple of things and uh, your app is built so if i go and click on this it is uploading that image and it says oh yeah uh, this is iteration one uh, you can do you can see apple is um, it's showing apple as part of this right apple and orange it also detects one percent of orange right so that is also there it's because of its round and other things so this is how you can do um do the uh you know classification all right so you know obviously you can take this to code uh, we have a how to take this to code all we need to do is um, uh, it needs to be published um, so where to publish it uh, if you go to performance, there is the published URL. So once the iteration is done, once the first iteration is done, uh, you can just click on you know, publish, which is the predict prediction URL. When you click on that, um, it gets published. And, and also it provides you with the prediction uh, endpoint with the key. So you can take this uh, if you are uh, testing with image URL. You can take this if you're testing with or you are using image files. So any of these things you pick up and use it in your code and uh, it just gets, uh, you know, you can just use it uh, in your code to build this. So we will we will go and see how to do that in uh, Python at the end of the session with complete code, uh, how exactly this works. Uh, while we are doing that in, in this particular exercise, we'll just take this, uh, the same GitHub repo, which we had taken uh, the same code, which we have, all we need to do is uh, provide the prediction URL and prediction key. And this is the prediction URL and prediction key, uh, which I was talking about. And this is what we have picked. And if I go to the code and go to classify image, right? That is what it is. Yeah. Classify image. And it's already added with the keys. It's already ready. And all we need to do is um just execute the code right uh, once we execute the code it will tell me it's it says it's an apple right so that's how um you can build the the code is again it's very simple uh it's an image which we are passing and it takes the image and it is setting up the key it is you know um you know, in basically invoking the method uh, to do the uh, you know prediction url which is there and header we have shared 
So it is basically uh, nothing but it is sending the request and it is uh, getting the response in the JSON format and whatever uh, response it is getting, you're picking some of the things uh, from a tag name and other things and you're printing it here. So it's easy to write the code. It's everything is available for you. So here uh, is what we did from uh, from a uh, uh, you know, classification perspective. So now what we have done is just a classification, right? So now we also want to go ahead and think about how to do um, the detection of objects, right? So we did classification, now we are doing detection, right? So basically, what does that mean? So it means, uh, as I told you, right, in within this, it's easy to understand, right? In the, from this example itself, uh, I have three objects and I want to detect where exactly this object is in the image and also what it is. So if I want to do this way and identify, uh, and this is obviously used in traffic management if you're doing how many, uh, how many uh, banana, you know, how many uh, bikes are there, how many cars are there, you can do a lot more things, right? So this is how you can use it. And this is how you can build uh, object detection. And the same way, so basically it is adding bounded box to it, identifying uh, the information. You can go through this module to understand object detection versus image classification, what it means. Um, that's that's exactly what we discussed. And uh, it's a similar way, it, need, it requires the vision, uh, custom vision or cognitive service and uh, again, it is providing the image tagging, and again, it is you know uh, training and evaluation with the same set of interface. Uh, again, precision recall and average of this, and you're doing all the things, and the same thing you're also uh, pushing this particular model to the prediction uh, to do the predictions, right? So uh, you are again, you said you know you're sending this to this particular endpoint, and you're taking this endpoint. Uh, to deliver the predictions, right? So let us go back and you know do this uh, from a exercise perspective, right? So how do we do it? So we, we again simple go and uh, go to Azure portal, create the cognitive service or the custom vision service uh, the same way, and then we'll create the grocery detection the same way in the custom vision. So if you go to the custom vision dot AI, uh, you can create a new project and. Within that new project, you can say uh, grocery uh, detection, and you go into that project. So similarly, how we have done in this, you know, already done it uh, because it takes some time. And there is already a, a training images which is already there. You can download these images. Uh, I'll share this one because this what needs to be done uh, is an example which we need to see, right? So we'll go and create a new project and enter this one and then description detection test it's two and this is the same thing but here it is object detection and here it is general because there is nothing here as part of the domains so you can as you know in the first you know discussion itself we said there are a bunch of domains which you can select and uh, these are these are the couple of domains for object detection, which is available. So there is uh, not specifically we are uh, doing anything. So it is it's a basically general one. So we are taking that and uh, we are downloading this uh, particular fruit objects and then we just need to upload that. So we just go here and create a project. Right. And then the project is ready and I'm going to add images. And it's a training images, no object images. And yes, so all we are doing is uh, we are adding 33 images. So if you see, it is combined with a various set of images. So the way we are training this one is basically to, we need to tag all the 33 images with what it is from a training perspective. And then it will start uh, any new images you upload it basically it's uh, it will start uh, identifying it it is not un it is not tagged yet so uh, if i have to tag this one uh, let me take this one as an example if i have to tag this one how do i do it so i'll go and click on this and say this is apple and this is 
banana and this is oranges orange so basically it's be, uh, it's pixel so i am picking up the pixel and telling okay this is what this is for each image i have to do this uh, so that you know it it starts uh, and it is so easy from an interface perspective if you see here uh, it is already uh, picking of uh, showing me all the uh, things which is part of it so i just need to uh, select the right ones so that's what it is and let me go here and show you this one uh, again this is also uh, so that's that's we need to do it for all the images which we have and it's easy to do it as well just go next 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 um, so you have it ready uh, i have it ready so that i have tagged everything before itself uh, before the session so all we need to do is is to train the similarly the way we trained the previous one and we need to do the quick test so we just need to, to pick up this uh, you know uh, apple and oranges uh, go and do the quick test so let me go to the you know the email you know the project which is already trained right so let me go into the test the same thing enter url and check so so what it shows it shows apple this is apple and this is orange so that's how uh, detection work and it's basically also creating a um a bounding box for us and to understand which one which so it's easier for us to understand from the image perspective so if you have an app which uh, you know where you can just open up and uh, go to a supermarket and other things you, you know, want to see which of these fruits or name is or you also want to you know convert the name of this in different languages uh, and want to see what this uh, this this particular image is is called from a different language you can do it uh, that's what we are building as well in next uh, session as well right so translation uh, as well right text to uh, speech uh, speech to text image you can also text uh, from image to how you can convert it into information uh, from a text right text to speech so you can it can call out what this means in hindi or it, it can call out what it means in spanish or french wherever whatever uh, the name is so um, so basically that's that's what you can build with this uh, this is from an object detection perspective and as i told you the similar way the code is written uh, the way to consume it, there is a, a API for it, and you're cloning the you know, same thing, and you're providing the prediction URLs uh, in the code uh, from the detect object perspective, and uh, similarly, the prediction API, which means uh, this has been uh, from a performance perspective, it's the same uh, precision recall and other things which will get generated. And I haven't done the publish here. So this particular iteration is not published. Uh, so if I have to, you know, if I click on this publish, uh, this particular model is ready to uh, to be, uh, you know, to be used from a prediction perspective. So now, yes, I go. I want to go and publish it, and I'll say, okay, this is the resource to publish it, and I go and publish, uh, and then you have uh, things getting published. And once it gets published, you have prediction URL, and you're going to use these keys uh, to uh, in the app uh, to see. You know, well, you upload the images; it starts uh, predicting stuff. So that's what uh, you can use uh, the specific uh, code from. And uh, this is how you can do uh, specific things. And also, we can try this out, but I don't want to waste time uh, doing the same thing. So. Uh, you can go back and learn this uh, from an execution perspective. So let me um, let me go back and uh, show you the face API. Uh, you know, the same way uh, the way we do stuff here. Uh, again, you know, face API can video indexer. It it uses computer vision for this, and also there is a face which is pre-built algorithms which is already there to analyze the face, recognize, and also provide a lot of information. 
this bunch of information which is uh, provided you know detection verification uh, and it also groups it and it you know you see this uh, these are the couple of uh, features uh, it, it captures and um, and you can see how to get it started it's very simple and you just need to go and create a face uh, service or you can use cognitive service uh, that's how you can go and get started with it so let's see uh, let's go and uh, see how you can get started there's a uh, again the portal you create it and you go to cloud shell and you run these uh, you know the same old github uh, which i have been using and you just need to provide the keys uh, i have provided the keys i have created um, so this is the resource uh, this is the face api and the key is here so you have the keys i have just picked this keys and i have taken that keys here and i have been using it in the find faces so i have used it here so here is uh, interesting. I have used this image, uh, my own image, uh, to see how exactly uh, it captures that information. So all we need to do is uh, just use that and uh, you know upload my image. Uh, and once you upload my image, um, shows I was at the age of twenty six, and I'm happy, and it's also neutral. So this is my emotions. Right. So there are a couple of other things. So we can also test that out. I can just mark this and we can test rest of the things as well. Right. So, you know, um, let's go here and test it out. Uh, this particular image, uh, we can see the more uh, description of this. Right. So basically, you'll just copy this and we will execute this one. It's basically nothing but you're just passing one of the image to it. And the, it says, okay, it is like like age is 30, 34. And here is most important information, which is the uh, the coordinates where um, the pixels, where in fact the uh, face is located. And what is the emotion? So it looks like happiness, right? And if I go to the next one, you know, it's... it's uh, kind of different information for you so basically if you go here and execute this this particular image which is out there uh, so it's age 31 and again it gives you the coordinate but here uh, it's neutral and uh, there is kind of it also some kind of sadness and little bit of happiness and if you say it's neutral is is the highest number here so the image is more of uh, neutral right so that's the emotion from a face perspective and and again this one uh, interestingly uh, you know you can as a human you can guess it but if you see here um, how machine is uh, trying to understand all of these things you haven't done anything here right so you've just taken the keys of the uh, from you've just created a service uh, which is face API and you're using that API and uh, just you know um, uh, you know sharing the images with it and you can see uh, it is uh, sending out many information about that image right so from an age perspective from an emotion perspective uh, there is a happiness there is neutral and there's sadness the most important thing is surprise Right, it looks like a surprise. You know, the image is like she is looking at surprisingly. So that is that is the important aspect of using this thing. So we have pretty much uh, used almost all the uh, all the things available. Uh, we will do one last thing, uh, which is uh, which is building the uh, whole thing uh, with. Python app, uh, not using anything else. So, um, so what we are doing here is we are going to use custom um, custom visions uh, library, and then uh, we are going to uh, train. Uh, we're going to send in images. We're going to train. We're going to um, do everything and publish the iteration, and then we're going to test the prediction endpoint. So this is the steps uh, which we were doing it uh, from the 
uh, tool, but now we're going to do it from the code, right? So all we need to do is to install um, the version. So the library, uh, which is pip install. So you can just copy this and install. I've already installed it. Uh, but what we do it from the code perspective is, uh, so I have done the some kind of training, so it because it takes time. So this is a simple import command. So you're importing training, prediction, and the model, and then authentication, uh, right? So basically you're doing all of this stuff. Uh, let me close this, uh, yeah. And there is a uh, endpoint. So this is nothing but a simple cognitive service endpoint uh, with prediction keys are available uh, here. And then the credentials has been provided for the custom uh, vision. So it's all it's all uh, it's it's to make sure that you have the authentication, and and then um, and after the authentication, uh, you have you create the project. And once you create the project, uh, you just go and uh tag the in the within the project uh these are the two tags which we are going to uh, drive and then there is uh images uh, coordinates are already uh been added here if you don't uh, know how to do this you can go and go to the custom vision.ai and reuse those coordinates and uh, build those coordinates as well but this is uh this is something which has already been added uh, from the image coordination perspective and uh, this is a location where uh, where the images are there and you, you're picking up the images and you're running this code uh, to tag um, and to uh, train the model and once you have done that uh, you're going to publish this into the iteration and once you publish it it gets published and you can also train it you can also test the training i've not done that here because i, I want to test it on the custom vision.ai, right? So this is how you can do it. And all you need to do is um, um, basically go and just execute this run and you're done. So all you need to do is uh, three, So if I do this, it will start training again. But anyways, this is one of one iteration, one new project that gets created. That's okay. So all I have done is uh, it is available here. So it always comes to this. Uh, it, it once you do that in in, in the uh, any of your application, um, it straight away comes to uh, the specific one, and you go and click on this. Similarly, how we are done, uh, same thing. The the thing is, it was it was run through completely through code. The images it was there in the folder, and you 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 wrote the code from a Python library, and you executed it, and and the code and and all your images are here, and it's basically uh, it has done a couple of things. It has uh, tagged uh, twenty images as uh, fork and twenty images as um, you know scissors. And then again, it's the same way performance, uh, you know, it, it, it is verifying. So basically here you can see there is a recall is less um, and precision is good, right? That means some of the things failed uh, to, to, to get this right up and running, right? So basically you need to do a lot of other, a uh, lot of iterations, more iterations to make sure that recall in number also increases. And uh, you can, uh, we have done the prediction URL. That means uh, it's been published. So if it is, I can unpublish it and publish it. And there are different things you can do. And from a prediction perspective, um, you can quick test. If you want to do, go to quick test um, and either enter URL uh, for this. Um, so this is, uh, or you can browse from local and go to documents um, test it's a fork and it just takes in and it tells me what it is so it's basically probability is fork so uh, 
that's what that's how you can build it so basically this is a way to build uh, custom vision through client library so you use python and directly build it without using any of these and you can train you can build your own training you can use your own images and uh, you know you can build the training and start consuming it as well uh, directly with the prediction url which you have so that's that's the uh, that's what i just wanted to show today if you have any questions uh, please share, share uh, the questions in the chat um, most importantly um, this one the cloud skill challenge i have combined all of these uh, learn modules where you can also go and try all of these things uh, play with uh, these uh, specific things and uh, see how exactly it works you know uh, and uh, once you do this hands on you will understand and there is a lot of concepts has been explained in these uh, learn modules as well uh, just take these learn modules and uh, go and complete this uh, complete collection it will it will be a complete helpful completely helpful for you to uh, go and take up the ai certification as well so any questions uh, please post it in the chat we still have a couple of minutes um i can wait for the questions as well uh, i see there was okay there's that's not the question yeah this is the cloud skill challenge link uh, please make sure you use this uh, opportunity um, I've covered almost everything with respect to uh, AI. Yeah, there is a question uh, from uh, you know tens of, you know, uh, question on uh, how how does compute Azure compute uh, computer vision uh, different from TensorFlow? So TensorFlow is uh, deep learning, and um, it's it's basically you're building. The models and other things, um, but here uh, in computer vision, it's all pre-trained. Uh, you you don't have a control over the models as well from a computer uh, vision uh, because you're just using it and directly building it, and you're just passing the images or passing uh, the videos, uh, live feeds, and other things, and you're uh, getting the information back from in terms of either describing the images or um uh, uh, identifying the faces or whatever you want to use it from there are apis for that and you're just using those apis uh, it's a it's basically to get started uh, faster so if you see my uh, you know demos as well uh, i just use a couple of images i just use a couple of things uh, and uh, and from a computer vision perspective i didn't even use any set of images i just went ahead and um you know, just pass the images to the API, and I started getting responses. Uh, that's that's the uh, that's the fastest way to get your app integrated into the AI. Um, and if you are if you have a use case where you have to build um, a model and you have to work on deep learning, so which is which is basically uh, you know a neural network and other things. Um, that is when uh, you're going to use uh, the TensorFlow, and you have to build your own model, and um, and it takes a bit of time with a lot of data and other things. So that is where you're going to use TensorFlow and stuff. And we do have a session on TensorFlow coming up, and uh, I think that will also help you understand uh the difference between all of these things as well do join in uh for the deep dive session for that any more questions i'll just sh share this one okay cool so uh uh, please uh, go through this uh, cloud skill challenge and let us know uh, your feedback as well while you're learning. Uh, how is your learning going on? And uh, thanks for joining today's session. And next week we are going to talk about a pretty more uh, a pretty interesting topic. Uh, 
Um, so basically, the the topic is on uh, the speech to text, text to speech, uh, uh, different uh, language uh, synthesizer and other things, neural uh, language and other things. So it will be interesting and interesting demos there. And yeah, the question is, there is one more question. Uh, does Azure Cognitive Service provide creating and training our own uh, custom model? Uh, yes, there is, uh, you know, the the custom uh, model, uh, the the one, the image one, image detection and other things which we did, it's more of uh, building your own because we built, we, you got, uh, we got the images um, and we added the images and we, uh, you know, basically added the tags as well. And then uh, we, we did a training and once we did the training and we were able to use it, um, but you can't build your own model, I believe. It's back end. There is already a model available, but this is a, this is a clean in, interface where you are just uh, you know providing the information, providing the tags and other things, and then training training is is basically our own. But if you want to use your own um, specifically your own um, uh, model and want to use it with ease, you could use uh, the Azure machine learning um, machine learning service with the Studio. Where you can go and create your data set, which we did last last week, uh, uh, last session basically, the where uh, we created the data set. You can um, build the auto ML on top of that. You can use a couple of metrics and add uh, you know a couple of uh, you know which one is it a regression or a classification and other things, and then um, uh, build your own model, uh, train and build your own model there, and then also deploy that model into uh, different compute and also consume that uh, through the compute which wherever you deploy it. So in a way, you know there are different services to use. Uh, but from a from a cognitive service perspective, you you did bring your uh, data set, uh, but uh, training and other things is done in the backend. Cool. I think that answers uh, Sandeep. Thanks for asking those questions, Sandeep. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining in. I think uh, uh, we're just over time. Um, but yeah, we will catch up uh, next week on the speech. Uh, that is, that's is—that's—that's that's a pretty interesting session as well. Thank you, Rashmita. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. Thanks, all.